What is up lords and ladies, King Raiden here and welcome back to another Call of Dragons video and for today's video guys, we are going to be talking about Waldir and his hero talents and pairings. So I made this video guys because I wanted to express my own opinion or my own idea regarding Waldir and his build. And I know for sure many of you will just like um, disagree with this uh, build that I'm going to do. But still, it's alright because uh, there's no perfect build or, or there's no like relatively speaking number one build in the game for heroes. But it's up to you. You can actually mix it up and it depends on you and how you build your hero talents uh, for your hero. Okay, so let's get started. Let me go back here for my profile. Actually guys, this is my main account. Uh, this is the one I'm using for uh, ever since I was playing this game for 26, uh, 2022, September. So, let's go to Waldir. Okay, so my Waldir is now level 54. And uh, I think I already set up his uh, skills here. So, let me just go back a bit because I wanted to like uh, uh, low the uh, SFX because it's a little bit loud. I think you will not hear my voice if it does like this. So anyway, okay, let's start with the hero uh, hero talents. So before you start with Waldy guys, you need to first finish your foundation talents, which is a necessary thing to do. Because without doing the foundation talents, you cannot move your hero or uh, finish the talents when it comes to his uh, uh, talent tree like skills, PvP, and magic, you cannot do this if you don't do the foundation talents first. So, let's do first with overall attack, which I'm doing right now with uh, 3 over 3. And here, because, yeah, I wanted to do defense here, but because my uh, Waldir and magic units move a little bit slow, so I gave him a little bit of uh, uh, march speed, which is uh, 6%. 3 out of 3. You can actually go here also for overall defense if you want. Then after that, I chose overall health for 1.2%, 3 out of 3 points. And after that, I chose Mighty Power because you don't have any choice to cho uh, and you don't have any other um, talents to choose from because it's only this one. So this is the main one and after that, you can just start whatever you want. So. Because at an early stage, I wanted my Waldir to like uh, do some AOD damage against, uh, air, sorry, AOE damages in the field. So what is AOE, guys? It's an uh, area of effect. So his skills is somewhat going to like hit multiple targets at the same time. So every time he's activating his raid skill, then he can probably like hit one, two, or three enemies at the same time. So. I first started with skills, which I did with overall attack, which increased my attack by 2%. And the next one I did is intimidation for your legion deals 4 more percent more hero skill damage. So it's going to apply on my skill damage on Waldir. And after that, I went with high spirits because I wanted to like regenerate my um, rage faster which has a 10% chance to grant your legion 50%, uh, 50 rage. And the next one I did was Spirit of Rage, was casting rage skill, skills grant 20 additional rage. And next one I did was Unquenchable Will. And so the next one I did was Unquenchable Will by 5 over 5. And the next one I did was focus when launching a normal attack, your legion has a 10% chance to gain hero skill focus, increasing their hero skill cr uh, critical rate by 10% for 5 seconds. And after that, I did Raging Tide, your legion deals 15% more hero skill crit damage. And last but not least, on the skills tab or in the skills tree, I did Thirst for Blood. When casting a rage skill, your legion deals additional hero skill damage to the target legion damage factor 60 so it's going to like probably add 60 more damage on every time you're doing a uh, rage skill on the enemy so after i finish my skills uh skill tree uh, on world deer there is still like a little bit of uh, talent points left because even if you max out until here guys 
we were going to get like another like maybe 15 I think 15 or 16 points so what I did is I did not go for the PvP because but still I check out PvP it's still okay because it's so much here guys there's so much skills that you wanted to do with Waldir but because there's only like 60 points or yeah there's only 60 points you can get for each hero because the maximum level is 60 so you cannot cover up everything so what I did is I invested my own um, skill points for uh, Waldir here on magic uh, on magic on, on the magic skill tree so what I did is I went for magic HP because this is the starting one increase the HP religions in magic units by 2.5 percent and I proceed with foresight when casting rage skill your legion has a 25 chance to gain 75 rage and last but not the least guys I'll be probably maxing out this one intimidation so probably I'll be getting at least maybe 4% of skill damage additional for my legion and uh, maybe my last skill will be probably be this one the magic mailstorm I will not be going for this one because yeah it's like there's a big chance that when it comes to like big battles there's not like all the time the players are, get, are going to get like uh, go together or group together in a big crowd or like a ball so I don't want to like um, waste my one point on this one so probably I'll go for this magic mailstorm Mail, sorry, not, not magic maelstorm, but maelstrom. <laughs> sorry about that. So, when your legion consists entirely of magic units, they gain defense, meditation, before casting rage skills. Mit, midi, uh, sorry, mitigating 10% uh, uh, mitigating of the target's de defense for 5%. Uh, for 5 seconds, this effect can be triggered once every 30 seconds. So, Total, all in all, it's, I think, uh, 60 points because right now, I think Waldir is now level 54 and I still have 6 points or 6 points left for his talents. So, 4 here and 1 here. So, probably I'll add one more, let's say, maybe on the attack or maybe here. Let's see. Maybe I'll go for here or maybe moving speed. So, that's, uh, that's my own opinion, guys, for Waldir's. Um, talents or hero talents and as for his um, deputies normally there are some heroes he can go with like for example if you want to like survive longer in the field some people will go for Waldir and Iliana as a deputy and some people will go for all-out damage like maybe they will go with uh, Velen or they can go also with Atheus but the thing is Atheus has like a passive skill that uh, reflects on magic or flying magic units so probably maybe not this one but still if you don't have enough like uh, enough heroes or magic units to like uh, magic heroes to become deputy then you can probably go with atheist as well and uh, probably you can go with also here with pan with the healing you can also mix it up with alwyn and uh, you can go with lilia so so far, I don't have any information like with Lilia, so meaning I cannot like uh, show you guys on the video what's what is her like talent skills. But still, you can see it here. He has magic and skills, so somewhat it's relatively um, same when it comes to like uh, going with Waldir because magic and skills. So if you go to talents, it's the same. It's the same description that you're going to see on Lilia's uh, uh, hero talents. So again, guys, if you want for like a uh, more um, tankier build when it comes to like uh, surviving the field much better go with uh, Iliana because of uh, her of her first skill which is the shield factor that helps or if you want to go for all-out damage then you can probably go with Velin you can go with Atheus you can go with Owen and you can go with Lilia so that's his pairings and that is all his talents guys so I think I don't have anything else to say guys I just wanted to uh, give a very big, uh, sorry, very quick opinion about myself on uh, Waldir's talents and skills and probably his pairings. So that's about it. I don't have anything else. So again, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope to see you soon in the next one. Please again, guys, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, like the video and share it with your friends because you are awesome. This is King Raiden signing out.